the abstract uh, presented was BGB 16673. This is the first in human study of a, a novel uh, class of drugs, a chimeric degradation activating uh, uh, compound. And it has two binding sites. One that binds to uh, the non-kinase uh, elements of uh, BTK. And the second binds to uh, an E3 ligase that leads to ubiquitination of the uh, BTK protein and then degradation through the proteasomal system. So it's a novel mechanism of action that preclinically uh, is effective against uh, BTK that contains mutations that render uh, cells resistant to either covalent BTK inhibitors like ibrutinib and no, uh, the recently approved non-covalent inhibitor pertabrutinib. So this was the first in human study. We did a dose escalation from 50 up to 500 milligrams across a range of uh, B cell malignancies. The most common patients enrolled had chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CLL, but there were a range of other B cell malignancies as well. 50 patients treated to date and we have safety data um, uh, with only one dose limiting toxicity. We've seen some neutropenia. We've seen a small amount of um, bleeding and bruising that hasn't been dose limiting. Some infections, but uh, only one dose limiting toxicity and two patients who have had to stop drug because of adverse events in the context of disease progression. So well tolerated to date. Um, the doses that show greatest activity are 200 and 350 milligrams. And overall, we've got 28 patients uh, valuable for response. Among those, 10 patients with CLL, and we've had seven out of 10 responses. All of those with disease that was resistant to covalent BTK inhibitors. And one of three patients with disease resistant to pertabrutinib, the non-covalent BTK inhibitor, has also responded. So very encouraging with early numbers. In the other um, B cell malignancies, uh, we've had uh, overall uh, nine out of 16 patients achieve response. And we've seen responses across the board. Patients with marginal zone lymphoma, mantle cell lymphoma, follicular lymphoma, and also Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. So early stages, short follow-up, but uh, a well-tolerated drug with encouraging activity in an otherwise refractory uh, patient group. We don't have definitive answers on how we're going to move forward yet, but both the 200 and 350 milligram doses are well tolerated and uh, highly active. They will be expanded uh, in various histologies. At the moment, uh, most of the activities in patient with disease that is refractory to both BTK uh, covalent and non-covalent BTK inhibitors. That may be the initial slot, but given the excellent tolerance, uh, the uh, opportunity to move it earlier and compare it to non-covalent BTK inhibitors and potentially to BTK inhibitors will be the, the next steps being explored.